I think the biggest challenge for the project was to keep the DNA of the saint Geran in the design and this was, um, uh, it, took, it took a long time and it took many years because uh, we were dealing with three different designers uh, for the area of the hotel. They had to work together, we had to ensure that uh, as a general manager I was really involved protecting uh, the customer's feedback and you know what, what people have lived with over the years and at the same time setting up the saint Geran of tomorrow. So uh, challenging, but uh, very interesting project. Well, you know, the, the main challenge uh, of the project is the location of this beautiful resort. We're uh, in a small, tiny little island in the middle of the Indian Ocean, far away from any, any big uh, city. And therefore, you know, bringing everything in, the, um, all the equipment, all the, the new furniture, it's always a challenge, but uh, you know, we've, we've with a lot of effort from all concerns and the owners and, and ourselves and our colleagues, we've been able to, to pull it all together at the last minute just, uh, just to get ourselves, ourselves over, over the line. And, and you know, we're very proud of what we have today. We're dealing with our third generation of customers now, so um, the grandparents have to love it, um, the parents have to love it, but their kids and their grandkids definitely have to love it. And we have, uh, we have set the bar pretty high to have the saint Girons of, of tomorrow without losing uh, the DNA of the saint Girons. So there's a lot of addition. Uh, there is, uh, uh, in terms of um, F&B, for example, we've, uh, we have five F&B outlets. Uh, we know our average length of stay is about you know, 10 to 14 nights. We want to give really a good, um, a good flexibility for the customer in terms of dinners and, and where to go. We build up a um, new area for families, um, you know, the, the La Pointe area, which is a beautiful you know, between the ocean and the bay. Um, the restaurant is there. We have separated the spa as a, as a, as a one and only spa uh, with an incredible component, added uh, a few rooms in there as well uh, in the spa. We have Club One, which is all about energy. We have the first paddle courts on the island, um, a new teens club, new kids club, a beautiful indoor outdoor gym. Um, so much to discover. Well, uh, you know what? Uh, it's it's important to us. I mean, that uh, that is our our base business, and it's it's part of the family. It, it, it's more than that. We didn't want to break the old Saint Geran. We just wanted to make sure we improve it, and uh, we see that our customers are embracing the changes. Uh, out of ten changes, there is always one thing that somebody would have somewhat done different. But we are not hitting the rock, and people are saying, "I will be back. I love it." I think they'll be very, very pleased because um, as a multi-generational hotel and resort, a beach resort that we are, um, we've seen these loyal guests coming through. Some of them that were here last week met here as kids and are now have come here as honeymooners and, and you know, their children will come with them. Grandkids are now growing up. so it's, it, 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 They're loving it. They're loving it. You know, these guests that have been here 20 times, 30 times, 40 times, they've, all of them have basically booked again for next year and you know and they're uh, they're enchanted by what we've done it's an honor to be um, to to be selected for for this project and uh, I've been fortunate enough to have been here for um, for six years now um, so it's uh, it's an iconic property you know, so for me it means a lot, for the customer it means a lot. Uh, I think the respect of the place, the respect of Mauritius, what we bring to the local community, what we do in general, uh, is, uh, it, it's, it's an honor to, to be here, to be honest with you. It's an honor to, to be part of this. Oh, saint Jean, it's, uh, it, it's, it's a historic hotel. It's not only for Mauritius, for a one and only resorts, and you know, for a lot of luxury travelers. Um, I've heard, I first heard of saint Geran when I was a, a kid and my grandparents came here as, uh, as guests uh, in the 80s and then my, my auntie and my uncle came in the 90s and you know, it's, it's always been um, a, a, a very uh, iconic resort like you know, you can have the, uh, the Savoy in London or Le Crillon in Paris and you know, reopening this year has been, I'm sure it's, it's one of the most important, if not the most important reopening of 2017.
Number one is the location. Um, Saul Kersner was, um, uh, you know, smart enough and really a visionary of putting this hotel on the map um, where he selected the spot. Uh, we inherited this, but when you came back in 72, I guess you could do a lot of things and you could select the, the, the place. So we have this peninsula with beach all around with, I mean, it's, it's magical. Then we've got um, the staff, okay? You, we've kept, while we close, we kept 300 of the existing staff with us on the payroll to ensure that when we reopen uh, this jewel uh, we we didn't lose you know a magic component which is the staff they know your guests by name the guests know them uh, by by name as well they know their family they know their children they evolve with them over the last 20 years um, and you know what the the karma of this place and the customer keeps telling you and it's so true the minute you you pass those gates you've got this feeling of like now I can relax now now it's really uh, I can reconnect where I disconnected the last time I came here so um, we stay very close to that in our program in the way we handle wellness in the way we handle club one we want to make sure we don't lose that that magic um, and and that that is still there so um, all together when you put all these components uh, competition is great it's healthy I love it um, but we've got an incredible product here um, to just carry on all the pieces between the product the location the staff and um, you know this, this special karma I think um, I've got we've got a pretty good edge we have really pushed into modernizing the concepts uh, of our food and beverage offer, Club One is a is a, a new a new area full of energy. Also, the wellness has been completely redesigned and, and, and enlarged to make sure that it becomes that oasis of, of peace that people are looking for. So the, it, it's really on how we've conceptualized and, and brought to life uh, all these new offerings for for our guests. And obviously, what is very very nice is, is the, the, the the guest rooms that are completely re redesigned, refurnished. And uh, you know, all the beds now have a beautiful uh, view over the ocean, which it wasn't the case before. So you know, throughout the hotel, the transformation has been really impressive and, and, and total, total transformation. Extremely family friendly. What we've done is we have improved that as well. Um, you know, we had an incredible kids club uh, in the past and we've made changes. We relocated the kids club, we created a teens club, uh, we have paddle courts which are great for the young, the old, we've got of course brand new tennis courts, um, but families here just truly enjoy themselves. Um, the family pool that's been created uh, helps um, to that. Uh, we have uh, uh, adult only pool we've got the family pool um, and and all the restaurants and the different things you have in the hotel the security aspect of it um, kids love it and family love it they can be together they can be alone they can they can map out their day in any any way they want but we are a family hotel definitely oh, there's there's a lot of new guest experiences you know uh, a few of them are uh, are uh, hosted by us by uh, you know the the team uh, going diving uh, going shark diving with me it's definitely a one that i recommend out just out there where uh, ilron round island is uh, going to the market with the chefs is, is very important maybe ride a harley davidson with charles you know there's there's plenty of new experiences but you know this is a beach resort and the best experience ever is this resort itself The essence of a one and only resort is it's, its people. The colleagues are really the soul and of this place, especially in, in our in our resort. Uh, we have uh, the the average length of service uh, when we closed was 25 years of service, and and we've kept uh, th 350 colleagues from from the previous team, and they are the ones that are now passing on their knowledge and their passion for what they do to the new to the new addition to the team. So I think the colleagues are really the soul of a one and only resort. It's a privilege. I, I've been in the business for um, 
40 years um, and Elegant has always been uh, you know a, a, a huge partner in general in any luxury brand I've been associated with. Um, with one and only Le Saint Gérant it's it's a very special relationship. Um, you are our, our UK is our number one market. Uh, you are our number one uh, in the UK, you have a very special place, but I think it's more than that. It's not just the business relationship, but I think the the customer uh, are very uh, your customer, and what we offer, the alignment is absolutely perfect, and the pieces come together. I think we understand each other as as partners. We work well. You know what? You are there to please your customers. We're there to please your customers. And when there is any opportunity, we understand, you know what I mean, that the customer remains, you know, at the prime focus. And I think that's, that's a very smart relationship. So you know what? Uh, thank you for uh, entrusting us and thank you for being there so early after we open to show your commitment as well. I just want to thank Elegant Resorts for uh, their loyalty and uh, for their business. And I'm sure that 2018 and 19 and 2020 will be uh, very successful years together, for sure. But doing what we do best, which is taking care of our, of our and your guests uh, here at the property. Mm -hmm.